The hit drama series This Is Us has been touching the hearts and minds of audiences around the world for six seasons. This Is Us creator Dan Fogelman has revealed new details about how he plans to further the Pearson family saga, and we'll get into that in a few moments. So stay tuned and don't go away, because Milo Ventimiglia shares his one regret about Jack on This Is Us. And it's a doozy. First up, what is This Is Us star Milo Ventimiglia's one regret about Jack? You're about to find out. Milo recently revealed that he has one regret when it comes to his character on the hit series. Milo plays the Pearson family patriarch, Jack, and because Jack died after saving his family from a house fire, Milo's character is featured mostly through flashbacks. With the series coming to an end, more of Jack's storylines are taking place in current and future timelines, which gives Milo a clear picture of his character's life, but in a recent interview, Milo opened up about the biggest regret he's had about Jack, saying, I I was always really deeply saddened by the fact that he couldn't come together with his own brother. Knowing how close his boys are, and by extension their family, that just kind of broke my heart. So who is Jack's brother? Jack's brother is a Vietnam War veteran named Nicky Pearson, who was believed killed in action during the war. But a shocking plot twist in season 3 revealed to audiences that Nicky was in fact still alive. Jack told Rebecca that Nicky died serving in Vietnam, but that was a lie. The truth is, Jack cut ties with Nikki after the death of a young Vietnamese boy when a grenade went off in the boat where Nikki and the boy were fishing. Jack didn't believe it was an accident and felt that the truth was far more sinister. Next up, how is showrunner Dan Fogelman's vision coming to fruition? Let's find out. For six seasons, This Is Us creator Dan Fogelman has laid the foundation to expand the saga of the Pearson family. He's injected several mysteries, jumped back and forth across various timelines that are all starting to come together to form a complete narrative. Now, fans and cast can step back and see the finished product. It's also clear why the plot has been difficult for Milo to swallow. In a recent episode that many viewers found to be a little awkward, Jack and Nikki's mother dies, but Nikki is nowhere to be seen. But let's shift gears and talk about Kate and Toby for a second. There were some big moments in the relationship between Kate and Toby. Audiences watched as Kate and Toby experienced every parent's worst nightmare. While fighting almost daily over their marriage, Kate and Toby are constantly at each other's throats. And and Toby even tells Beth that every time he goes into a room with her, he's essentially on eggshells. It's as if Kate and Toby are in a downward spiral of frustration because they both think the other is being selfish, and they both think the other doesn't care about their wants and needs. Up next are Kate and Toby trying to solve the same problem two different ways. Let's take a look. Beth did her best to convince Toby that he and Kate would get through their rough patch. After all, Beth is no stranger to marital hardships, having dealt with her fair share of problems with Randall. The difference, though, is that Beth and Randall matured and healed together, while Kate and Toby are only growing apart, and it's clear that they value different things in life. It's unclear at this point if they'll be able to salvage their marriage, but time will tell. Right now, Toby's heels are dug in, and he's either unwilling or unable to see Kate's perspective. At the climax of all of Kate and Toby's fighting, audiences are given a powerful series of flashbacks and see Jack and Rebecca cut their dinner date short because their babysitter was locked in the bathroom. When Randall and Kevin pulled up to the house, Kate and Toby were fighting. With Toby pointing a finger in her face, Kevin and Randall's brotherly instincts kicked in to protect their sister, and they stepped in to calm things down, leaving Toby to feel like the bad guy. The fight revealed the deep divide between the two as Kate called out Toby for only seeing Jack's limitations. Toby responded by scolding Kate and telling her that she was refusing to see any limitations for her son. Both Kate and Toby are very worried for their son's future, however. They they're trying to resolve the situation in two very different ways. Stay tuned and don't go away because we're revealing the latest on this incredibly dramatic show. Next up, what happened after Kate and Toby's explosive fight? You're about to find out. One of the scariest moments came when the ceiling collapsed. Toby somehow managed to get Jack in his room to safety, but he forgot to lock the baby gate. Later, Kate let the plumber in and forgot to lock the front door. When Jack went to the park, another fight ensued and the couple began blaming each other for their mistakes. And Kate and Toby were fighting once again about her not wanting to move to San Francisco for a job at her school. Fans also can't forget Kate's song routine with Jack designed to help him find his way to the park. For fans, that was a really cute and touching moment. Jack learns to find his way to the park and perfectly remembers the counts, the direction, the sounds, and the safety tips Kate taught him. And that's when an already strained marriage experienced losing a child. And they both had themselves to blame. Rebecca often feels 
feels useless. But in this instance, she certainly comes to the rescue. After all, she's the one who makes the connection between the red boots that Jack would wear to the park. It was Rebecca's memory that saved the day, and she knew right where he was headed. But Rebecca is more than just a hero for finding Jack. She also comforts him during tough times. Even though Jack is quite young, he's aware of what's going on between Kate and Toby. He clearly knows they're mad all the time, but he doesn't understand why. And for many fans, it's heartbreaking. When fans saw Jack crying on the kitchen floor, it brought tears to their eyes. Up next, does Kate want to move back to LA? Let's have a look. In the scene that took place in the front yard, we see just how much pain exists beneath Toby's angry surface. Toby had been urging Kate to move to San Francisco, because that's where he's happy. But Kate had never pleaded with him to move back to LA. What's important to remember is that Toby was finally angry enough to discuss his biggest fear, that Kate wants to stay in LA, and that she doesn't want to give up her happiness by moving to San Francisco. At this point, it's safe to say that the couple is not going to make it, and that we're seeing the eve of destruction for their marriage. Another question that's burning in the minds of fans is whether or not the actor who plays Baby Jack is really blind. Baby Jack is played by actor Johnny Kincaid, who has albinism and low vision. Albinism is a condition that refers to inherited disorders resulting in little or no production of pigment, or melanin. The disorder can affect hair, skin, and eye color. Albinism also causes problems in the area of optic nerve development, which causes vision issues. Kincaid, who is only three years old, first appears on screens in This Is Us, and fans are already in awe of the young man's talents. Finally, is something big about to happen with Miguel? Writers have kept fans waiting for a long time for more on Miguel. He wasn't popular with fans early on, and it's hard for him to measure up to Jack. However, after a while, fans have come to really love Miguel, and they wish they understood more about how he and Rebecca got together years after he left for an opportunity in Houston. In a recent interview, actor John Huertas revealed that there is a lot of big stuff coming for Miguel, including an episode named after the character. Huertas explained, The timeline as far as when Miguel left to go to Houston and when he came back, there's a lot of time there. Eight years. So I knew that. Then there's dating and then there's getting married. So I knew it was only 10 years, but it's not enough. I wish we could spend a lot more time with Miguel and Rebecca. We've shot a bunch of stuff already and we're finishing up an episode called Miguel Right Now, where we see a lot of just Miguel and Rebecca. It's nice. It's beautiful. In the same interview, Huertas wanted to assure fans that they can expect to see an older version of Miguel, but he doesn't go into specifics, or whether fans will see him at Rebecca's bedside in the future. What would you like to see happen with Miguel if he becomes a central figure in the storyline? Could he have a more positive impact on the show? What do you think? That's a wrap for today's video. Thank you for watching this video.